It's post time. On behalf of America's Best Racing, I'm Joe Christofek, and it's time to win place and show me the money. Today we're going to talk about intra-race wagering, betting within the race, win, place, show, exacta, trifecta, and superfecta. Intra-race wagering is different than multi-race wagering. Multi-race wagering, those bets are the daily double, the pick three, the pick four, the pick five, etc. Picking winners over a sequence of races, that's a multi-race wager. We'll talk more about that in a future episode of Post Time. But today we're going to tell you three things you need to know about intra-race wagering, and the first is getting your feet wet. Start with win, place, and show. There's no worse feeling than liking a horse in a race, spreading out with that horse in gimmicks, like the exacta and the trifecta, watching that horse win, and actually losing money on a horse that you liked, Stick with win, place, and show, especially if you're new to the game or lacking a little bit of confidence. Have a little bit of success, see how it works, and then graduate to the more intricate wagers. Another piece of advice I can give you is don't bet against yourself. I see this all the time when I'm at the racetrack talking to different people. They bet multiple horses to win in the same race, or they bet one horse to win, a different horse to place, and a different horse to show. And paramutual wagering, we're betting against each other, don't bet against yourself. Point number two, climb the ladder. If a horse you like is, let's say, three to one odds or better in a field of, let's say, eight or more horses, particularly if you don't like the favorite horse in the race, then stack your wager, win, place, and show. Give yourself a better opportunity to win. A ladder strategy is an opportunity to grind out a profit if you're picking good horses or limit your losses if you're not doing so well. Again, a good introductory way to play the races. Let's give an example. Say there are 10 horses in a race and your top pick is number four. The odds are four to one and your budget for the race is $14. Let's try this. $2 to win, $4 to place, and $8 to show on number four. That would cost you $14. Again, if your horse finishes third, you're likely still going to make a slight profit. Once you're comfortable with win, place, and show wagering, point number three, don't be afraid to dabble in the exactas, trifectas, and superfectas. And with, when you do, recognize the fact that the with button is your friend. Now, old school horse players call it a partial wheel. I like to call it a with bet, and I'll explain more about that in just a moment. When you're playing the races, no matter how you arrive at your decisions, it's always best to, bet, uh, to wager based on your opinion. I don't care if you're picking by name, number, color, or truly handicapping the races. You should always bet what you like. The with button allows you in the gimmicks to prioritize your horses and emphasize the ones that you like the most and give you the best opportunities to cash tickets based on your opinion. Here's another example. Say your top picks in a race are four and seven, but you also like one, three, and six. You think those three horses have a chance to finish second. Maybe your wager should be a $1 exact. Again, we can call it a partial wheel. Four, seven with one, three, four, six, and seven. This scenario, the race can finish 4-1, 4-3, 4-6, 4-7, 7-1, 7-3, 7-4, or 7-6, and you win. That's eight possible winning combinations at a dollar each, a minimal $8 investment. Now, on the self-service machines, it's very easy to find the with button. It's a natural progression, $1 exacta. 4, 7, with, and so on and so forth. So don't be intimidated by those self-service machines when you're constructing tickets. And the ticket I just showed you, that strategy also works when building out trifecta and superfecta tickets as well. But start easy, start with win, place, and show, graduate to exactas, and then worry about the 50-cent tries and the dime supers. Now, regardless of your skill level or bankroll, learning the best ways to maximize your money gives you the best opportunity to cash more tickets and potentially leave the racetrack with more money than you came with. And as a late, great track announcer, Kevin Gomer, once said, bet with your head, not over it. Live it, love it, play it, share it, bet on it at AmericasBestRacing.net.